most of us these days are familiar with QR codes. Here's an example of one. You scan it with your phone and then it takes you to a website, a menu, something like that. Now you may be wondering how these work or what's the purpose for it. It's really quite simple. Each QR code has three of these position markers. Black squares are called data modules. There is a blank space. These are called the quiet zone. So, so it will scan that, then that, then that, then that. Now I get it, you might not be interested in all that. I certainly am not, but what is the use of these? And one of the benefits is that when you're on your phone, I could either tell you what my Twitter profile is or my business card and my phone number and I read out all the letters for you and the digits and then you punch them in and make sure it's correct. Or I can just say, hey, scan this and it'll give you all the information you need. So how is it being used out there these days? Let's go take a look. Surprisingly nice day to be out for a ride. Ah, oh, here's a QR code found on straight away. Even in this place, uh, you just use that code to uh, order food. Now, out in the wild, there aren't that many QR codes. I mean, there are. So you have the, the COVID test and trace ones, alternative to a menu like cafes and restaurants. Advertising that says, hey, click here to find out more. And I recently heard a story that criminals were printing off their own QR codes and sticking them on parking meters. Now these parking meters don't have a QR code. You're meant to put your money into it or use an official app. People were scanning them, putting in their payment information, thinking they paid for parking. In actual fact, what they were doing was giving all their payment information to the criminals and they got a ticket on top of it. Okay, it's uh, getting a bit windy out here. I'm going to head back to the warmth of the office. And there you have it. It's cold out there. When you see a QR code, you have no idea where this is going or what it's going to lead to. So be careful whenever you do scan a QR code. If you're on Twitter and you scan this one, this will compose a tweet and you can then hit send and, and it will go out, which if it's just for promotion, come here and get a 10% discount, that's fine. But what if it says something really, really unsavory or untowards. If you scan that one, you can send me some cryptocurrency. This, if you scan this, this goes to a, a bad network and there's a password embedded and it should connect automatically. If you connect through this Wi-Fi and it's one that I control, then you, you can imagine the badness that can go along with that. So if I can take this into sticker format and stick it in coffee shops and with a little note saying like, scan me for free Wi-Fi, Who's going to say no? So just like links that you click on computers, just be mindful as to what codes you're scanning, what it's asking for permission, and what it's actually trying to do. Stay secure, my friends.